Welcome to Monday Night Raw. We are fresh off of Money in the Bank. I'm your host, Flan. I'm here with No Shad. Oh, oh, oh. And it seems we're opening the show with the new United States Champion. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. The man that uh, beat Cody Rhodes also beat Big right. E. <laughs> That's right, Big E on part uh -huh. one of Money in the Bank. He issued his U.S. Open challenge. Seth Rollins accepted, and Seth Rollins became your new United States champion on Universe Mode. Well, I mean, honestly, Big E, well, fortunately, that U.S. Open challenge, and, well, we have a new champion. We do have a new champion. The U.S. Open Challenge did not work out for Big E, who claimed to be a fighting champion. He pinned Brock Lesnar. But uh, now we have Seth Rollins, and if I had to guess, he's probably out here to brag a little bit about winning yeah. the United States uh -huh. Championship. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean... <laughs> yeah, let's hear what the champ has got to say. Ladies and gentlemen of the WWE Universe, feast your eyes on your new United States Champion. Oh, that did not take long at all. No. Now former United States Champion Big E. It does not feel right seeing Big E come out without that United States Championship strap around his waist. It does not feel good. <laughs> Yeah, it does not feel good. I mean, is he going in for his rematch clause right now? As much as I hate to admit it, you got one over on me there, Seth. Clean as a whistle. Congrats on being the new U.S. champ. And big thanks to you for putting this title on the line against anyone so I could swoop in and become the proud holder of the belt so, so easily. Really making my job easy there. But... You would know that as U.S. champion, I preached being a fighting champion. Hell, I beat Brock Lesnar one-on-one -on -one as champ. So it's time you can defend that belt. I'm invoking my rematch clause tonight. And at the end of the night, we'll see who's true U.S. champion material. I think we just got uh, ourselves a main event. <laughs> I think so too. Big E is choosing to use his rematch clause. We're getting the U.S. title match tonight. Oh boy. But first, we've got some dark matches to cover. Former tag champs also lost the belts to these gentlemen, Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser. This is just one-on-one -on -one action, though. It's Randy Orton face-to-face, -face, head to head with Gunta, the leader of Imperium. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes. I guess it ended pretty well. Uh, it did seem to have ended pretty well for Rated RKO with a one, two, three. Randy Orton got the job done against Gunta. <laughs> and, you know, knowing these, knowing these men, they want those titles back as soon as possible. Yeah. They still have the rematch clause, so I mean, honestly, it's only a matter of time. That's right, but we did have another dark match to go over. This one including Austin Theory, A-Town Down. He has one win on Universe so far, and it's against the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. Mm. But speaking of someone affiliated with the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa. And as it would seem, Solo Sokoa would get the job done for one of his first wins in universe congrats wow. to solo getting the job done it's i guess the bloodline's coming together pretty nicely that's Gained right. their w respective wins it was not a, the, a good night for the bloodline at money in the bank but uh things are starting to turn around after money in the bank now we will we'll see but it looks like we've got some tag team action to open the oh. show well, we got the women's tag team jaded bliss the duo of alexa bliss cora jade now these two came together relatively recently they came together during the first week of uh universe of monday night raw 
managed to best damage control in a tag team match and just kind of let it ride since. I mean, honestly, they, since from minute one, they're a really good team. So, I mean, could be future world women tag team champions as well. That's right. But more importantly than that, Cora Jade doesn't have the briefcase whisker, but she is your Miss Money in the Bank. Oh, that is true. That's she is right. Miss Money in the Bank. She has an opportunity to cash in. Anytime, anywhere, the current woman's champion, Charlotte Flair. But tonight, I don't think Charlotte's on the mind for Jaded Bliss. I believe it's that some old foes of theirs. Dakota Kai, Io Sky, Damage Control. Well, well. Well, they, well, they picked well. Up, I mean, they picked up the win the very first time uh, on the very first episode of Raw. If I'm That's right. Be Jaded Bliss did get the job done against Damage Control. And I think just a few weeks ago, I, I might be wrong. I probably am. I believe they had a rematch a couple weeks ago, maybe even just last week. And I think Damage Control got one over on Jaded Bliss that time. I, oh. I, again, I could be incorrect about that fact. Uh, I think you probably aren't because looking at the, the win-loss record here for all members of Jaded... Uh, not Jaded Bliss, oh my god. Damage Control. They've lost exactly two matches. I'm reading somebody else's. Oh, sorry. This is somebody <laughs> else. Somebody else's. Oh, I don't know who. Oh my God! I'm reading. God damn it! I'm reading Solo Sokoa's losses. God damn it! <laughs> That's why I wasn't reading the right one. Well, either way, we've got the matches started. <laughs> Uh, you know, I haven't checked the win-loss in a little bit, so I'm not quite sure where things stand. I, I, I just know between these two tag teams, it's a relatively even affair. Ah, All I right. see. Alright. Cora J going... No? Whoa! Oh, oh, Alex is just walking yeah. away? Hey. Already? It, uh... But, she's gone. Uh, she's gone? Alright. It's I guess it's just Cora Jade now. Alexa Bliss leaving her partner Miss Money in the Bank Cora Jade high and dry to deal with damage control on her own. Well, okay. I the match is still going on, so I mean it's now a handicap match. Yeah, it looks to looks to be a handicap match now. Cora Jade Eo Sky in the in the middle of the ring, trading Dukes. Cora Jade gets the advantage with that little Rough Rider there. Shades of Zack Ryder, also known as a uh, Matt Cardona nowadays. Yeah. It's like Cora Go on, Jade. That's stopping on her. That's right. I mean, she has she has the advantage right now. But again, this is two v one situation. The numbers are gonna get. The numbers aren't going to work out for them forever, for Cora, for ever. That is true. It's only a matter of time until, uh, you know, the numbers game comes into play. Yeah, only a matter of time until things just get to be too much for Miss Money in the Bank. Just left abandoned by her partner, Alexa Bliss. I'm, I'm just now just trying to understand why did Alexa just leave the match just so early? That I am not too sure about. The like Geos guy gets the tag into Dakota as this match rolls on. Hmm. Irish Whip sends Cora Jade into the ropes. The knee to the knee drops Cora Ouch. Jade. Maybe the numbers game is starting to get to Jade a little bit. No, she does get the Bulldog there. Oh. I mean, she's probably losing a little bit of steam. Oh my god. Hold up. Uh, this could be a big moment, but no, the numbers game again. Even if that kick out did not work out, Eosky right there to prevent anything, and Corrigan has no partner in her corner to stop it. True. Looks like Dakota guy gonna roll on the outside. Cora Jade getting the advantage over Eo. Cora Jade standing tall over damage control on the turnbuckle. What's she thinking? Drop kick from the top rope Drop. to the outside. My, jeez. And now stomping a mud hole in Dakota Kai. 
This guy, what? Uh, uh, yeah. Nah. It seems for a second she was levitating, but uh, no one. Not really. <laughs> I guess true. <laughs> okay, well, uh, EO Sky back in the corner. Cora Jade, I'm already looking to deal with that a little more. So that's the five count right now. Count of six, but uh, Cora Jade rolling outside is going to break the count either way. Oh, and now EO Sky works on Cora Jade on the outside. I mean, when you have the numbers advantage in a match like this, it's it's just all about keeping control. And if I know anything about damage control, that's one thing they're good at is keeping control over a situation. That is true. Uh, well, I mean, at the same time, they're not very good at. Oh my God! Bit. Moon sold off the top rope. This could be the end for Cora Jade. One. Yeah. One, two. Two. No. No. Cora Jade gonna oh. hold in just a little longer. Miss Money in the Bank showing that that wasn't just a fluke. Roll up. Oh, Pulls her in. On. One, One. Two. No. Two count. Three. Two count. No. Two count. Dakota Kai interestingly did not go in to help Eo Sky. Maybe thinking that Eo could kick out of that. Maybe a little caught off guard. Butterfly DDT from Cora J. This could be the match right yeah. here. But Dakota Kai able well, to break it up. No. Dakota Kai right in there to break it up. That's that's those things about a handicap matches. Your opponents, they've got they've got the ally. They have a bit of an advantage, but uh you're still all alone. Yeah. Crossbody from the top rope drops EO. Cora Jade has control over one half of damage control. But Eo's looking to change that right now. Planting her with a somewhat of a spine buster. A little, little difference, a little varied from normal. Rolls Jade through and the drop kick. One, one two, two, three. three. Damage control gets the job done, but I mean against it, one it half. Of jaded bless yeah I mean it was just the numbers game at the end of the day she put up a good fight but at the end of the day the numbers numbers between were too much and I don't think she expected yeah. to go at this solo <laughs> yeah I get it solo go haha <laughs> yeah it does. she did not expect this to end just like that I'm fairly certain uh, Alexa Bliss abandoned her early on in the match, and at that point it was just Cora Jade being thrown to the wolves. I, I wonder what the hell is going to go on with that. Uh, still, congrats to Damage Control. Not necessarily a big win, but a win <laughs> nonetheless. Yeah, uh, not a win nonetheless. But speaking of the women's division, it is your women's champion, Charlotte. Flares coming off of a successful defense at Money in the Bank got the job done against the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. I mean, yeah, she did an amazing job That's being right. able to capitalize on beating Beth Phoenix and say now she's the top queen of Monday Night Raw. That's right, well, the only queen of Monday Night Raw. Uh huh, yeah, sure. I don't know, is Queen Zelina on Monday Night Raw? No, she's on Friday Night Smackdown. Thursday! Thursday night. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know she was on a brand that didn't fucking exist. <laughs> Thursday Night Smackdown, buddy. Well, regardless, the women's champion looking to have something to say here. And she's got to watch her back. Cora Jade might be dealt with tonight after that handicap match, but... Uh, it can't be that way forever, I'm sure. That is true. It's just like a matter of time. Just a matter of time. You gotta wonder who Charlotte will be defending against next. That is true. One of only a few people to retain the title at Money in the Bank. Not a lot of retains at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view last weekend. No, it's a lot of new champions. Silence peasants. The queen of Monday Night Raw, your women's champion, is speaking. Now, as the queen, it's not very fitting that I'm not surrounded by more gold. So, let's fix that. Ronda Rousey.
Shayna Baszler. Congrats on taking the women's tag team championships, but you won't have the gold much longer. Next week, I will assemble a tag team that will challenge you for those women's tag team championships. The Queen's Council, if you will, and you won't be champions much longer. I'm sorry, did Char... Okay, first off, Liv Morgan's coming out. That's interesting. The second off, did Charlotte Flair just say that she's bringing together a tag team to take on the women's tag team champions? Uh, I heard that correctly, yeah. All right, looks like we're probably getting a women's tag team championship match next week. But first off, Liv Morgan seems to have something to say to the champion. That's great and all, Charlotte. But how about you address the women's championship? I want a title shot that I never got to utilize, after all. Live, live, live. Dumbwitted as ever, you lost your title shot. But, fine, I'm feeling generous. I just need you to prove that you deserve a shot. If you want it, all you have to do is defeat your opponent. But if you lose, she gets a title shot instead. Good luck. But to just like that, I guess we're getting a women's championship number one contenders match right now. <laughs> I guess so. But who is Liv Morgan's opponent? Whoever whoever wins gets the shot at Charlotte. Oh, oh my god. This is god. all too familiar for Liv. <laughs> this is all too familiar. This is the woman that cost Liv Morgan her women's championship match a few about a month ago now at Extreme Rules did not get it because Rhea Ripley took it in a steel cage match at the go home show for Extreme Rules. Yep. This is this is an odd this is a this is a familiar feeling that we felt this before. That's right. This is an old beef between Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley and it seems like it's getting reignited tonight and again for the women's championship number one contendership i guess whoever wins will be fighting charlotte flair in about a month's time at vengeance oh i mean uh if Li i'm gonna i'm gonna say this now i this is not Liv morgan putting her shot on the line this is an actual shot at the title that's right charlotte flair actually granting Liv morgan a shot at the title Liv just has to get through Rhea. This is not Liv Morgan, you know, being a little dumb <laughs> and putting her <laughs> shot on the line. This is uh, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley, number one contenders match. Rhea Ripley hasn't had a shot at the title since Extreme Rules, and I'm sure she wants another shot. She wants another crack at it. Yeah. I mean, I think honestly, the crowd, oh, I think the crowd speaks for itself. It's only a matter. Oh, yeah. speaks for itself and Rhea Ripley is straight off the bat going after Liv Morgan. The tackle earlier, a little suplex, then the punch, and now just launching her opponent, but Liv going to roll through. And Liv oh, fighting back a little bit. Little oh. head scissors, Hurricane Rana, springboard off the ropes. Liv Morgan starting to mount an offense, but no, Rhea Ripley going to kick her away. These two women have history. And their history is being reignited tonight. All for a chance at the Queen's Championship in one month's time at Vengeance. Oh, oh boy. Oh I my mean, god! Liv oh Morgan god. rolled out, was having a little laugh, and Rhea just dove through the ropes and put the kibosh right on that. I mean, this is this is honestly. I mean, Jesus. This is just brutality at its finest. This is her brutality, after all. Yeah, mm. I, I can't agree. <laughs> Mommy wants those titles, and she's got to oh, get through Liv God. Morgan to get a shot at it. But I say those titles, it's that title. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say those titles. What do you mean? There's, are there two titles now? I mean, there are a couple of women's championships in universe. Yeah. And there are three champions of the woman variety on Raw. It's just uh, two of them are the same championship. True. 
out of Atlantic Kid. Yeah, it is the women's tag team championships, which is dual branded. Yeah. Which means that you will be able to see Ronda Rousey, Shayna Blazler anytime, anywhere on either brand. It's just that they can only appear on one brand a week. Yeah. So. But right now, Rhea like Ripley got Liv Morgan in the lock. Could we see Rhea oh. Ripley versus Charlotte Flair at Vengeance? No, Liv Morgan could get some punches in, some lefts, and roll her through to make sure that doesn't happen just yet. I mean, honestly, I, I'm just going to call my prediction down the middle. I think, honestly, maybe another Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair. We could definitely see Rhea Ripley getting another shot for the titles, though. That was a triple threat match the last time she got her shot, and it was to crown the first champion. It was Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, Beth Phoenix. Charlotte Flair managed to get the win there, and then defended it successfully at Money in the Bank against Beth Phoenix, who earned her shot. Interestingly, Beth Phoenix has gotten a one-on-one a, a one -on -one shot after Extreme Rules. Rhea Ripley has not. And that big elbow might prevent it from happening just a little longer. One, one two, two, no. no. Rhea with the kick out, Liv Morgan. Now, the reason she wanted to beat Rhea a few, uh, about a month ago in that steel cage match, she wanted to prove that she deserved that women's championship match. She lost, and if she can beat Rhea Ripley here, that would definitely prove that she deserves it. Jesus. But right now, Mommy is still dominating. And it looks it's like this might be the end for Liv Morgan. No. Oh, wait. Liv Morgan slips to the side, gets those gets those high, high kicks. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. I thought Liv was doing something there, but no, Rhea just body slammed One, two. Two. No. two. No. It's not a body slam. That was a power slam. I'm still getting a little more used to the moves. I mean, it's... <laughs> Rhea's pissed. I'm sure that's, that's... Rhea's pissed. Mommy is upset that this match isn't over yet. Oh. oh, clothesline sending Rhea Ripley over the top rope. Liv Morgan stands tall in the middle of the ring. What's Liv thinking here? Liv is thinking over the top. No. Oh, overshot it. Overshot Ouch. just a little bit. And now Mommy is going to punish Liv for that one. Imply a little extra punishment. Oh, nope, she's going to top. That's right, top rope and dives down. The elbow driven into the back of Liv Morgan. And now working the leg a little bit. Leg. Ah. Oh my god. It's on it. What's she thinking here? She's thinking suplex. Oh. And drops her Good down. Ball. A ferocious suplex. No. Oh. Liv Morgan going to get the leg up. The kick to the head. Oh. No, she was looking for something, but Rhea almost immediately broke out of it. This has been a battle between these two, but Rhea undoubtedly has had control for most of the match. The two clotheslines rolls her through into the single Good. leg drop it's quick. Like and quick. center of the ring. One, One two, two, no. No. Not quite it. This match still goes on. Both of these women want a shot at Charlotte Flair in a month's time at Vengeance. Single leg drop kick again. And go like, that was like a normal drop kick to me. Oh. Well, for me, on a different angle, Rhea it looks Ripley. like single leg. Oh! oh! Look to no. almost make the same oh. mistake as Liv, but actually kind of managed to graze her opponent. I mean, I'll give, I mean, I'll give Rhea that. She actually managed to hit Liv a little bit. That is true. Not as much as she was wanting, but a little bit nonetheless. Counted hey, it's better than nothing. That's true. A lot of this match has been on the outside, and Liv Morgan is getting some offense here. And the ref count seems to be at, I think, a three count of the cover to be correct. It's at five now. Five. Five count. And Sorry. And Rhea Ripley with that ferocious clothesline. More work on the outside. At any moment, this match could be over. 
We're going to see Charlotte Flair's new number one contender be crowned, and it can only be one of them. Uh-oh. Rhea had live up on her shoulders, didn't oh. get anything. Oh my god, reverse Hurricane oh. Rana to get out of that one. What Here can Liv be thinking? Oh. Puts her opponent against the ropes. What's she thinking oh, here? She's thinking of ending it. Could this be the match? One. Could this be two. The one? No. Two. No. Mommy gets the kick out just in time. What would? How many more of those finishers that she would have to do? Oh, what's she Who thinking knows? here? She's going top rope. Rhea's down. Elbow connects. No. Could we see any number one contender? One. one. No. One no. count. I did not expect a one count I, right there. I I'm I'm honestly in shock. Maria could get ended right there off the code breaker. Single leg code breaker. Code breaker. One, one, two, two no. no. Oh. Liv keeps trying wow. to put Maria down, but nothing is working. Could this it? be it? That's it. I think this could be it. Could this be the end? One, One two, two, three. three. Liv Morgan. be damned. The feel-good moment finally <laughs> manages to get done what she couldn't get done a month ago. Liv Morgan has another shot at the Women's Championship because she pinned Rhea Ripley. <laughs> I mean, I'll be damned. So... Many matches she has lost against Rhea Ripley. Even losing the Money in the Bank match, she has a shot. That's right, she has a shot at Charlotte Flair at Vengeance. It'll be Charlotte and Liv, but what will that tag team that Charlotte's looking to devise? Ha will they have anything to do with the match at Vengeance? That's a good question. But for now... We're coming toward the end of the night, and we still, or only now, being graced with our new undisputed champion, Kevin Owens. Well, he's sporting it's, some new gear, it looks like. Yeah, I was going to say, he's uh, supporting some new gear, and it, it says Kevin O. Kevin Never mind, fucking I Owens. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Kevin fucking Owens managed to get the job done. Interestingly, against Sami Zayn, more interestingly, in a Falls Count Anywhere match that never left the fucking ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the prize fighter has done it. Never left the ring, got the job done. One, two, three. Funny enough, he's, the one, that, he's the one that wanted Falls Count Anywhere. He had control of most of the match. Never took it out of the ring. <laughs> He's got I some... Mean, it, Champ's got some words to say. I want to hear it. He's basking in the moment, it feels. He's really taking it all in. Taking in all that glory. Oh, new champ. Kevin fucking Owens is the champ now. Simple but effective. Kevin I mean, fucking Owens <laughs> is the champ the now. Champ. I that's I have to agree. Wise words from the man. Simple but effective. However, that's not the only championship we have on Monday Night Raw. If you remember <laughs> uh, to open the show, Big E is putting his rematch clause into effect. Tonight. Oh, oh, oh boy, it's main event time. Big E lost the U.S. Championship at Money in the Bank, and he is issuing his rematch clause immediately. He is not waiting for the chance to get that title back around his waist. New Day so far very familiar to winning gold, being the first people to win gold and then losing it in their first defense. This I very mean, familiar feeling for the new day. This is, this is this is a familiar feeling. I can say that. The question now becomes: Can Big E reclaim the gold? I remember New Day were the first tag team champions. They lost the gold. 
got their rematch clause. They lost. Will the same repeat itself for Big E with the U.S. Championship? Oh. Uh, well, I mean. Talk about drip. We've got some new drip from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some new drip. From the Trump visionaries. The trip, I mean. the trip God himself. Sporting some, I guess, American clothing. American themed I mean, at the very least. I mean, he is the U.S. champion, so I mean... Hey, if you're the U.S. champ, you better fucking look like a U.S. champ. And Seth Rollins right now, he kind of looks like a U.S. champ. I mean, he is the drip god and visionary, so... Got that red, white, and blue. All over his outfit. That is true. But Seth I mean, freaking Rollins with the new gear successfully defend the U.S. Championship. Very true. I, that was I a mean, question. That is for it. No, that was a question. Oh. I said, can I he do it? And you said, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. He can. I mean, honestly, if it was a statement, yeah, he's going to be able to defend it. No matter what. I agree with you on that. That's true. <laughs> Will Seth Rollins be a fighting, defending champion? But first, he has to go against the former United States champion, Big E, representing the New Day. Of course, Big E, no stranger to tough fights. He beat Brock Lesnar one-on-one. -on -one. Was not able to get the job done against our current champion. Will he be able to get it done now? His rematch clause is official. And his opponent is Seth freaking Rollins. Oh boy, this is... What a hell of a match. <laughs> US title is on the line. One man will walk out of here, U.S. champion, and the other man will be very, very disappointed. Will we see a new two-time U.S. champion? Or will we see the same old story play out again just like it did at Money in the Bank? Matches on. <laughs> Biggie going right after him yeah, already. They kind, of, they kind of bumped into each other a little bit. Biggie with the snake eyes on Seth Rollins. He wants that title back and he wants it back now, damn it. And he is not I mean, afraid to put in the work to get it. I mean, he's not afraid to put in the work, but he did lose in his open challenge. That's right. He, he was unfortunately not the victor. But can he get the job done tonight? Seth Rollins does not want that to happen. Seth Rollins had control for a little bit, but Big E with that Irish whip and that shoulder tackle looks to get some control here over his opponent, Seth freaking Rollins. Mm. Big E going right. Oh, no. He went for it, but Seth Rollins rolled him over and got some forearms in there for good measure. He's been back and forth so far, though. I don't even think a minute has passed yet. Maybe barely. Uh, about to be soon, but not yet. Fair, fair. Oh, but Big E, oh my God, just launching him over the shoulder from behind. Oh, they're bumping into each other again. And Big E has Seth in the corner. What are we going to see? Oh, just all oh of his weight. God. Pins him into the corner and then planting him on his back. Could we see an early pin? One, no. One, no. This is not going to be an early win for the champion. But that little corkscrew power bomb will help. Went for a little well, drive Biggie. by, but uh, I don't know what the hell was going on there. Biggie, a little hesitating. A little, little hesitant against Seth Rollins. You do not want to be hesitant against the visionary, the revolutionary, the U.S. champ Seth Rollins. You do not want to be hesitant against this man because he will pick up on that hesitancy and he will take advantage without hesitance himself. 
I see you use a lot. <laughs> oh, what's up, Ron? Oh my god, pedigree already! Pedigree. pedigree to the former champ! No but a rope break. break. Biggie's hand was under the rope, That's so. right, Biggie's hand was under the rope. A little bit of a shoulder bump there. And Biggie has control over Seth again after that vicious pedigree. Maybe lucked out a bit by the rope break, kept this match alive a little longer. Could see a new champ because of that. Oh, Seth went for the clothesline, but Biggie ducked off to the side, managed to make sure that didn't happen. And now Biggie, no, went for something, but oh. no, Seth didn't let it happen. Now Seth Rollins back in control. No, Biggie. No, but the the uh, the elbow. Yeah, elbow. Oh, yeah, elbow. This action's going quick, belly to belly from Big E. And Seth's gonna stand right back up though. Oh, but could we see it? Oh. Lance him down one, one two. I, two. I thought no. that was, I thought that was gonna be the big ending there. It was not. Yeah, same. I thought so too, but uh, it's not. Thought we were about to see Big E end that match. Oh, what's Big E thinking? Oh, my he's thinking God. of planting his opponent down near the middle of the ring, getting a one, two, three, getting the job done. But first, he wants to brutalize Seth just a little more. Could we see the moment Big E's been waiting for? Taking that title back. He lost it only a few nights ago. Two no. count, not going to be the end of it. We saw I mean, Biggie just two nights ago lose the championship. And he wants it back, damn it. He wants it back fast. I mean, if he wants it back, he, he has to really work really hard to split oh, that. No, picks him oh. up, I thought, for the big ending there. But no, Seth Rollins managed to push out of the way. And now Seth Rollins planting Big E. Could this be the what? visionary's moment? Oh, what the fuck? He's holding him a little awkwardly. Uh, yeah. Well, the legs were a little weird there, but no Big E going to get up, get the knee. Oh. Oh. Planting his opponent for the body slam. He's been teasing that big ending for a while. Hasn't gotten it. Roll up from oh. Seth Rickard Rollins. One. No, 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 no. Big E will not let our cheesy little roll up get the job done. And with that clothesline, okay. he is sure to keep it going. And the back body drop. I think Biggie's feeling it. He's feeling it. Spine buster to the champ. One, One two, two. No, close. No. no, the title does not change hands just yet. In this exciting. Oh my god, another roll oh, up no. from Seth. What? <laughs> no. No. The roll up's not going to work, Seth. A little bit of a spear from Biggie there. Tackle takedown, and Seth go rolling to the outside. Biggie's on the top rope. This can't be good. What's he thinking here? He's calling for Seth to stand up. Seth's on the outside. Big E! Went for the double axe handle, no. but no, didn't get anything. Seth Rollins managed to get his uh, hand up there. I, I think so. <laughs> and now Seth has control, rolls Big E back into the ring. Only a two count there. No, Big E. Going straight for the gut. That's oh my right. god. Catches Seth off guard. As he gets back in the ring, and now Big E back in control. Could we see Big E put a big ending to Seth uh -oh. Rollins' United States Championship reign? No, Seth Rollins going to roll out of the way of that drop. And now Seth Rollins may be looking to end it by side rushing. Side like rushing, but... Now, this is nice. I'm learning so many wrestling moves because of this. I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah. Rolls him through. Oh, oh no, uh -oh. Seth from the corner. Yeah. A curb oh, stop. Avalanche curves up one, one two, two, no. That's it. No. Big E kicked out of an F5 before. He's not going to be put down by a curb stomp so easily. I mean, judging by the crowd's reaction, I think they want to, want this to keep going. Uh oh. I want this match to go. Oh my god, on the corner curb <laughs> stomp again. Another not crowd. giving Big E a moment to breathe one, two. Uh -oh. Kick out again! No! Oh, Big you e refuses to be put down by the curb stuff. <laughs> this match is still going, damn it! 
Biggie with that little spear. Another spear. Biggie has held in his own. Two quarter curve stops could not get the job done against the I'm former damn. fighting champion. I guess he is. Will he? He is the former, but will he be the new? Oh, oh. He's planning to get the big ending. Big ending. Could this be the big ending to Seth Rollins as U.S. champ? One, One two, two, oh, big oh. no. Are Seth you kicked out. Barely. Me. Seth barely kicked out. This match rolls on. Now Big E. Uh -oh. What's he going for? Oh no. Does it matter? Seth gets the arm drag. This match keeps going. Could Seth be looking to end this? Maybe. That big oh, ending. Man. That big ending had to have hurt. But Seth managed to get his God. shoulder up in time. Oh my god, two curb stomps could not do it for Big E. And now Seth! Oh my god, the 450 splash from the <laughs> middle rope! One, One two, two, no! no. Big E my refuses god. to give up. You could say that he refuses to lose. Over the top! Oh, oh my, my god! god. These fans Jeez. decided to go on to a random episode of Monday Night Raw and pull out a match of the year contender. <laughs> I would be damned. This would be up there. This would be up there. Snake Eyes. Not even really Snake Eyes. Kind of ish. I don't know, man. Count of four. Big E wants that title back. And he's going to go up top to do it. Off the top! Oh my god! The elbow drop! I mean... Could be new champ! One! One two! Two! No! No! Seth still kicks out! Big E might want to think about putting another big ending into Seth Rollins if he wants that US Championship back! Falcon Arrow! Falcon Arrow from Seth freaking Rollins! Whoa, what, what has what? to be done to end this match? Could the Falcon Arrow be it? No, Biggie's gonna get right up, not even allowed the pin. Biggie put in the corner, uh -oh. could Seth be thinking again? Uh, not yeah, a third I think quarter curves That's no, it. No, could this be it for Biggie? One, <laughs> two, two, three. Yeah. After putting on a potential match of the universe. Seth Rollins retains the United States Championship. I mean, after three deadly second rope curb stomps, that's it. That's right. Three corner curb stomps and a near big ending. <laughs> Seth Rollins closes out tonight. You're US champ. Thank you for coming and tuning into Monday Night Raw. See you on Thursday. And I